Okay, so it is February um, the 11th. So as you can see here, I did get some um, DTF transfers. I got a um, pretty large row. I'm not going to roll the whole thing out because it is like really large and I need like another person to hold it for me. Here are like some of the pictures. This one is mainly just a test one to see like which sizes I should get for the pictures because I got different sizes so like you can see with the Man in the Maze is that one is larger than that one right there. Yeah, I just got different sizes of these. Like, I have a bigger one of this one. I have a smaller one of this one of my ghostly lovers. And I just got different sizes to see which size I should get the next time. I was going to do it pretty soon to do these, test them, try them out. But I'm waiting on the parchment paper to come in so that I can do that. I'm going to cut these right now so that I can have them ready. For when I do start um, pressing them, heat pressing them, I got my blanks ready. And I'm going to try to finish the stuff that I want to do before March. Like around March 10th because I am going to be selling these on shirts. So I did finish making my cards right here. Um, I think there's like 20, 20 cards right here because two of them I did kind of mess up. So I had to take them out of the pile here. And they're all just going to be blank inside just because that's going to be the easiest thing to do. It's actually a pretty nice stack to look at. And you can see that I did organize them by card type. So... Yeah, it's just like a really nice stack to look at. I like looking at it. But anyways, um, blank cards. I am going to put them in plastic bags to keep them safe just because they are paper. And then on the back of the cards, or slip it inside the bag, I am going to put in these um, about the cards, what the artwork is about in them. And I'm going to cut these out right now. And then I am testing out my bookmarks uh, just because I am making them myself so but I'm testing them out to make sure everything is lined up and that they print out right so that when I cut them 
they'll come out relatively close to good. So yeah, you can see over there that I am printing them. And then I also printed out some art prints because I said, like I said, I do need to bulk up my inventory, especially for the art prints. The small art prints, which I didn't print out yet, I'm just going to do 12 of each. And then for the larger art prints, Right now, I'm just going to do six of each. I'm probably going to up this amount later. And then for the 11 by 14 prints, I'm probably going to do three of each. Just because those take up a lot of prints. And then this is the bookmark. So Okay, I finished cutting right there all of these bookmarks. So now I'm gonna like run them through again. So yeah, I do have two piles of the spider notebooks and of these ones because these ones, this one and this one are just paper, they're not on glossy photo paper. So you can kind of tell for this one, they're not as bright and vibrant as they should be because I just did it on regular paper. Because these two um, paper ones were ones that I did just to test out how to lay out my um, bookmarks so they're not right. But I still just laminated them. These are all the bookmarks I have right now. So here is the pile after I finish packing them up. I didn't seal them up yet because I forgot that I wanted to put wanted to put bio cards on the back of the prints just so that people know what it is. So I'm gonna leave these open for right now and I'm gonna go print out the bio cards in a little bit, but I'm gonna go first print out my biggest art prints so that I can have those ready too. Okay, so these were the bio um, information that I was talking about earlier. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put these ones on the back of or behind my prints once they are packaged. So Yeah, I print it. I'm just doing it on regular paper. Paper just because um, I don't want to do it on like glossy paper and like regular paper is the most paper that I have. So yeah, I just did it on regular paper. Um, they're not as vibrant as I would like them to be, but I really can. Um, when I was doing my budget for like the butcher dub and like stuff like that, I really didn't think about this until like way late. So I didn't calculate like this type of thing into my budget. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it in regular paper. So, I'm going to cut them out right now. And since I have this, I'm going to show you two deans. Well, three deans, actually. So, all this are my... It's all um, water-resistant stickers, but these are the ones that I did mess up on. Once again, it's always like air bubbles, paper fibers getting under it, and, you know, stuff like that. It's always annoying when it does that, but, yeah, so... As you can see, it is quite a lot that I have messed up on. So what I was thinking is that I'm still going to sell them, but at a discount, very discount price. I'm going to put all the stuff that have like stuff wrong with them, misprints, miscuts, and stuff like that into a bin. And I'm going to do like a discounted bin. For stuff like this. And I was going to make it like um, four items for $2 or something like that. So like I said, um, it's going to be seriously discounted. Just because I do not want to hold on to these. And like make them like sit somewhere in a drawer. So yeah. So all these are going into that discounted bin that I'm going to do. I do need to find a bin, but I'll do it out later. And I, like I said, I think these are all 
water resistant stickers. Um, I also got some holographic um, laminate, which I'm really happy about because I've been wanting to get laminate, holographic laminate for a long time. So I managed to get some. So yeah, those are the stickers. And then I am doing bookmarks, but I also did these kind of like foil bookmarks because again, I have like foil that I'm never using or hardly using. So I thought that it would be good to make some like home or hand decorated foil and ink bookmarks. Basically kind of like one of a kind bookmark because the foil is not going to go on the exact same way. So yeah, I did some bookmarks. So um, because, okay. So yeah, the foil, it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Um, there is like some problems with it. So it did kind of get like, you can kind of see it like kind of the foil came off randomly instead of like cohesively like I was trying to do. Like you can kind of see it looks kind of like really random. And I was very disappointed with that. But then I was looking at it and I kind of liked that look because it reminded me of stars and stuff like that. So I thought I might as well make these like celestial themed bookmarks that are hand drawn both hand drawn and handmade and like are not really the same like they're pretty they're kind of the same they have the same vibe but they're pretty different so I was just kind of decorating them depending how I felt and I was kind of just like doing it freestyle without really any plan or anything like that I think this one is my favorite so I'm probably going to try to make more of this type right here I don't know, I just really like that one. So yeah, I did because um, they reminded me of stars and space. I did make them like a celestial theme to them. I also like really this one. I like, yeah, I really like this one too. So yeah, I need to laminate these ones. This one kind of actually came out like a pattern like I wanted it to. I did like a swirl. I can show it better on this side. So this one came out like the intended pattern that I was going to do. It was like a swirly swirl type of pattern. And I did it with like a purple foil. But I didn't want to leave it like this because I wanted something more. So I decided to take my gel pen and do that. And it kind of reminds you of like chaos a little bit. So that was like the intention of it. It was like a chaotic type of theme. Again, I didn't really have a plan for this. I just kind of did whatever felt right. So yeah, there's that one. And then this one is like a, a full moon with wild flowers under it. Full moon with wild flowers under it. Um, I decided to keep the back side blank just because I did draw on this side. So I wanted to have like a, not draw the same thing on both sides. Just kind of keep them different. So I did that one, and then I did this one with some waves, and then the, your story has just begun. Um, I did the same border on both sides, but decided to keep this one with no words, just to kind of showcase the foil a little bit more. And these ones right here are also my favorite. Um, they're kind of like a wavy wave pattern, and I did add like the white gel around it around the foil waves I do like this one a lot so I did like that pattern so I did do it twice so yeah that one I like and then this one I just showed you let the stars guide you same thing um this one I was gonna do like this this um wavy pattern on both sides but when I went to do it on this side it didn't turn out quite right so I kind of just changed it a little bit to it being like double sided different sides so yeah those are the foil bookmarks that I'm going to be selling at the Mochida I'm probably going to make more if I have time but I need to laminate these ones 
Um, I did have these ones, but like these ones didn't turn out right. I didn't really like them. So I just kind of tossed them to the side for now. Um, I'm just going to keep these for myself because I can use them. And like this one, the foil just, just didn't really turn out right. It looks really hot podge and not really nice looking. And this one, I did. I was trying to draw like a tree and like a night nice sky, but I really didn't like how that turned out either. So I just kind of tossed it to the side. I'm going to use that for myself. And this one, the foil, yeah, same thing. It just didn't come out. It looks like messy. Like it wasn't. It looks messy to the point where it was just messy. It's not, I don't know if it makes sense, but same thing. I'm going to keep that for myself. Um, This one ended up getting some of the paper um, peeled off, so I just put it off to the side because of that. And the same thing, the foil didn't come up right. And this one was going to... Um, was I was gonna um, laminate it but um, as I started like thinking about it I kind of regret putting that moon right there because it feels kind of um, not matching a little bit I kind of wish I kept it like this so yeah um, just because of that moon I'm not gonna sell this one either I'm just gonna keep this for myself finally for the dirt theme um, I just wanted to show that this is going to be March's freebie sticker for all online orders, which is my Gaia sticker, which I, yeah, so this is March's freebie sticker, and I just wanted to show you because I actually really like the sticker, so I thought I might as well just, um, put those in orders because I thought that would look nice.